Hey guys, in this video, we'll install Windows application on a Mac computer. So without further ado, let's get started. So you need a couple of things, a Mac computer or a Hankintosh computer, an internet connection and a program named Crossover. Some of you might know it, some of you might not. So here's my Mac computer. So I'll just go to about this Mac just to show you that I'm running a, I'm running Mac OS Mojave. So this is a Mac computer that's Mac Mini late 2014, but it'll work on a Hackintosh computer as well as it'll work on Mac OS Catalina and Big Sur. So the first things first, I'll go to Safari and I'll go to codeweavers.com or you can just type in crossover Mac and go to the first website. I'll just click on crossover and then I'll click on Mac OS. So it's not a free software it's a paid one but you get a 14 day trial so i'll just click on free trial i don't know what's the tariff here but i'll just click on free trial and in a few seconds it'll just ask me mac os so i'll download for mac os linux or chrome os that's chromebook and i'll enter a name and an email after i've done that as you can see i'll download the setup i'll just double click on it and i'll move it to my applications folder in a few seconds it'll move to my application folder it's a bit slow for me because on this machine i'm running it on a hard disk drive so bear with me okay so it says this is a time limited trial version of crossover it'll stop working in 14 days so it starts uh 13 december that's great i'll just click on try now so here's the application it says install a windows application so if you want to do that just click on install a Windows. Just click on install a Windows application. I did not know why I fumbled there, but let's say I want to download something. Let's say I want to download LibreOffice. That's LibreOffice 5.x. It's untested, so I'll just download 3.3. So it says it runs well. A bit of description. As soon as I click on continue, what it will do is go to the LibreOffice website and download it. So LibreOffice Libre is a free software. So there, there, there's that. Anyways, what I'm going to do is download a Windows setup file, the exe file and install it on a Mac computer. So let's go to Safari. I'll go to Google and I'll write 7 By far the best zipper and unzipper application for Windows. <laughs> that didn't sound right. My bad. Just bear with me. I'll just click on download and I'll download a 32 bits. I don't know why, but 64 bit didn't work for me. So I'll just download the 32 bit one. In a few seconds, it will download. As you can see, it has downloaded. I can double click here and it'll open crossover and it'll just say select the application you want to install. It says 7zip, runs great. So that's one thing. What if you'd want to do it the manual way? I'll just go to crossover. I'll install a Windows application. Select installer. Choose installer file. Go to my downloads. That's the file. So that's the 64-bit one. It didn't work for me. And I had to scrap the video. But this is a 32-bit one. And I'll use this installer. I'll click on continue. Crossover will install it in this location. And it'll create a new bottle name. Windows XP name 7-zip. That's fine by me. I'll just click on install. It'll process and a few seconds it will be done and we'll get the install dialog. So here's the install dialog. This It's mimicking the same destination as Windows. I'll just click on install and it's done. Now, what if I want to open up 7 zip? I'll just click on crossover, wait for it to open. So it has opened all bottles. I'll just click on 7 zip file manager and in a few seconds, voila. There's 7 zip. That's it. That was the video. Short, sweet. I don't know it was sweet for you, but short, sweet and concise. If you like this video, hit the like button. Comment for any queries. And since you're commenting, share this video with your friends so that they also know how to install Windows application on a Mac computer or a Hackintosh computer. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. I've got some pretty cool stuff coming your way. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.